Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my channel, and if you are new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and check out my other videos down below, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So, <clears throat> today is Easter Sunday, and so I am going to be doing a little bit more glam than usual, and so I would like to go ahead and film a chit chat get ready with me this morning. And so, yes, let's go ahead and get started. You guys know I always start by filling in my brows because it does frame my face a lot better. Um, and I just find that they're easiest to start with. But before I do any of that, I'm just going to put on some chapstick. sure what kind of look I'm going to do today. <clears throat> I'm more or less playing it by ear and I'm not sure how cold it is outside but obviously I want my eyeshadow to correspond with what I'm wearing today. And I was originally going to wear this pink dress with some cute shoes but it's snowing so That's not gonna happen. I'm probably gonna have to wear some pants. And that makes me so sad. Like I had this outfit planned and now I can't wear it. And it's not even supposed to be snowing like it's spring. It's spring break. Oh no. I'm gonna try not to like talk that much this video and focus on the fact that I'm making a video because I don't want to be late but anyways so I've been trying a few different new brow pencils out lately and I'm still in love with my elf pencil I don't know I don't really think anything can beat that right now and it's only like a dollar, so. I am pretty satisfied with using this pencil for the rest of my life. So I have ordered some BH Cosmetics palettes to try out for you guys. I just haven't received them yet and I ordered them about a week ago. So I hope I get them in the mail, like tomorrow, hopefully. All I'm going to do now is use a spoolie and brush out that product. Y'all know how I usually do my brows, but I figured I might as well show anybody. I'm sorry, show anybody who hasn't been on my channel yet, so. Yes. Also today, I think I might vlog a little bit like I said it is Easter so I'm gonna go to church and then I'm also gonna go to my parents house to have some dinner with my family so that should be really nice So all I'm going to go do now is um, sharpen up the brow a little bit and make them a little bit more even. And what I've been using lately for my concealer under my brows at least is this Pure Mineral Concealer. And I got it from, of course, my beauty supply store. but. I honestly hate the consistency of it other than for my eyebrows because it's a little bit watery but for my eyebrows it's not bad so and all I'm gonna do is outline the shape that I've already carved out for myself and this is just gonna really define the brow
Also, in my last tutorial, <clears throat> I did a um, weave tutorial and I got a lot of questions about how to take it out. And I just used the um, glue removing shampoo and I don't think there's a conditioner, there's like a cream or something. But I just use that and my conditioner and mix the two together and it comes out no problem. I do have to comb through my own hair a few times to get all the glue residue out. But to me, the fact that I can do that quick weave so fast and have it um, look like the way that it does, I don't really mind that process of taking it out. But it is a little bit of a process. You know, it's not just like some clip-ins or anything, but. Also, just to let you guys know, yesterday, I did, ooh, ouch. I did purchase my first wig. And, the reason that I did that is because, like I've said in past videos, I do want to get um, familiar with creating wigs, and I <clears throat> really just want to get like ahead of the game before I go to cosmetology school, so I'm really just experimenting with hair, and I want to make sure that I know how to do pretty much everything so that by the time I get to school, I'll just be building my clientele, and it'll pretty much be a no-brainer. And I could probably teach myself better anyways because that's how I've learned how to do everything else is by teaching myself so and by YouTube which is why I have a YouTube but now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out that concealer But like I said, I only like this concealer for my eyebrows. I could probably not ever use it on my face because the consistency just is not, it's like, I don't know why it's considered a concealer because the consistency is so watered down. But it was like kind of a thing where I just bought it to see how it would work. You know, so. But it was only like three or four dollars, so it's not that serious. And I'm just gonna move right on ahead to my eyes. And like I said, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna wear today. But I do wanna probably wear some green. I've been really loving that color lately. And I do have this green eyeshadow. by NYX that I'm probably just going to go ahead and try out today. And this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if my green screen messes that all up for you, but I'm probably just going to do a green smoky eye or something to that effect. So let's go ahead and get started. And let's see. I'm gonna be using my Too Faced palette. And I'm gonna start with a fluffy brush. And I think I just got these from Walmart. They're pretty nice, I like them. And I'm just going to start building the color that I need. Um, but instead of doing like a normal smoky eye where it's just smoky on the out outer corners of the eye, I'm going to do a smoky eye where it's smoky both on the inner and outer corner and then the color is in the middle. If you know what I mean, that kind of smoky eye. So, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and start building that color into my lids.
so I'm thinking about making a tutorial on how I installed my first wig. And if you guys are curious, this is the wig I'm wearing right now. It's so long. And I think it's really gorgeous, but this is my first wig, like I said, and it's definitely much different than you know a weave or anything like that it's a lot of different techniques in both making and wearing the wig and like i said i am studying more on that so that i can get you know more familiar before i just go ahead and start making wigs and it wasn't my plan to um purchase one actually i just went into the beauty shop to buy cap and some hair and you know needle and thread and all that but um I just decided that I would wear a wig for a while just to see you know the specs and um what improves a wig and things like that so I'm really glad I made that decision before jumping into making them because wearing a wig I can tell you know what I like about it, what I don't like about it, what I want to change about it, and things like that. Alright. So, all I've done is just built up some browns into my eyes, in the corners. I used truffled in the Too Faced palette, and I also used this, um, it's called Tormin, but it's supposed to be a blush, I think, from MAC, but I use it a lot in the inner corners of my eyes just because, I'm sorry, I use it a lot on my eyes because there's no rules to makeup, you know. And the color just really does seem to complement my skin tone. So. Yes. Alright. So as you guys can see. I just have brown that's going on. All I'm going to do now is just like dust this off from that product and continue blending. <clears throat> now I am going to go ahead and go in with this green color from NYX. And by the way, I will say that I do really like NYX palettes. Or I'm sorry, NYX shadows. They're really soft. And they feel pretty good quality for the price that I paid. So I'm pretty happy about that with those. So all I'm doing now is just popping this green. right in the middle of my eyes. No, can you guys can see that because it's green. subtle pretty subtle green it's not like a lime green or anything but the color is nice I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that color just to bring out the true color and of course to add a little bit more depth to the look itself So 
far, but I think I should add a little bit darker of colors into my crease so that, again, there's a little bit more depth, but not too much. So what I'm gonna do is add the color licorice, which is pretty much a matte black, and I'm just gonna really carefully dab that liner. I'm not going to do a wing today, just a regular line. And now for some lashes. I'm just going to use some old ones that I cleaned, I think. And by the way, my next video will be my husband doing my makeup tag so just wait on that we should be trying to film that today but like I said it's Easter so we'll see if we get to it but sometime this week I should have that up figured I would repurchase it until I feel like buying a higher-end mascara but since I wear lashes so often it really doesn't matter so moving right along <clears throat> you guys know what my foundation routine usually looks like but this is a talk through video. So I'm just gonna include this part. All I'm doing now is highlighting my face with my Laura Mercier concealer. My skin is breaking out a little bit that time of the month and you ladies know how that goes but thankfully my skin is pretty good other than for this time so just waiting for it to pass so excuse my poor mistakes but <clears throat> moving right along I'm blending my black opal concealer with I mean, I'm sorry, my black opal foundation with this concealer. And I'm just dabbing that along my face. I'm trying not to mark any lines or anything like that on my face because I don't want that to show through my blending technique. All I'm gonna do now is take my beauty blender. blend this out. I usually use a damp one but I don't feel like stopping this video to go get it wet.
after I have that pretty much all done, I'm going to use my same infallible powder. I don't know what color this is in. For some reason, it doesn't say that. But I'm just going to go in and pack this into my face. Notice how I'm not going like this. I'm just packing it. into my skin and the reason that is is because when I go like this it messes up the flawlessness of my foundation underneath and it starts to create some harsher lines and I'm not a fan of harsh lines I don't think anybody is I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. high definition powder and this stuff is like so I love it but it's super super powdery like I cannot open it without powder going everywhere I don't really like that but I love the way it looks on my face it just is a very seamless like look at that like so hot in my house and like I said it's snowing outside but it was so hot last night so I barely slept like at all <laughs> excuse me <laughs> see I'm probably sneezing because there's like powder particles everywhere right now But well. So, as you can see, I just applied this powder underneath my eyes and over here. And I put it over here because um, it's going to help cut out my. Uh, contour. It's just going to really like sharpen it. And I'm actually going to use the same color that I used in my crease for my this 
lip gloss. This is such an old lip gloss, but it's my favorite. It has like golden sparkles in it, so. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. And I also do have all the products used today down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.